If you have a lady in your life and you're never really sure what to buy them for Christmas or their birthday, what gift they would truly enjoy, if they're into gardening, then I have the perfect recommendation for you. Forget about roses, there are many better options. Forget about chocolates, anybody can give chocolates. If you have a woman in your life who loves gardening and they're over the age of 30, the number one thing that I recommend you search for and put a lot of thought into this are seeds. I don't mean just two packages of seeds. Do a big seed haul, like say 20 or 50 packages of seeds or if you really want to go out out go and do like a hundred or 200 packages of seeds if your lady loves gardening seeds will be the drool over best gift you could possibly give introducing my 2023 seed haul from my absolute favorite seed company Baker Creek Seeds. Before I bust into this package, I want to put a little disclaimer in here. Dad, if you were watching this, you need to hit that little X in the corner, the top right corner of the screen. That's the X you wanna hit right now. You know the button I'm talking about. Part of these are for my dad's birthday and part of them are for me. So don't forget to hit the little X button, dad. You're not allowed to see the rest of this video. So we are going to bust right into this package. It is very well wrapped. I'm just gonna add before I show you the haul that this is not a sponsored video. I bought all of these seeds with my own money. This is my second time ever ordering from Baker Creek Seeds and I absolutely love them. We are going to dive right into this seed haul. Let's pick them out of the package. So here's a look at my seed haul. And I must say I surprised myself. I put this order in probably almost two months ago now and I forgot what I ordered and I definitely had some surprises in here. So it's a pretty impressive haul and I definitely did not remember some of the things I ordered. This is what working night shifts can do to you. This is my night shift brain right here in my hand. Basically, it doesn't function at full capacity and Things like this happen when you buy multiple varieties of the same seed that was not intentional. Just a FYI, night shift brains do not function super well. I'm definitely not going to show you every variety here, but I'll show you the ones that get me the most excited. The first variety of seeds I'm going to talk about is the yarrow seeds. I was so excited to find yarrow at Baker Creek Seeds because in our, in our last growing season, I had a really difficult time finding yarrow seeds locally at any local seed company. Any of the local Canadian ones we have did not have yarrow seeds. I could only find them in a mixed bag of other perennials where yarrow was about 3% of the mix. And I really wanted yarrow seeds, so I found them with Baker Creek. I found yarrow flower burst flower bowl. This looks so beautiful. So excited to plant these. Yarrow love parade. Just love the shades of purple here. And Yarrow Colorado Mix. So my rock garden is going to get a lot of very drought tolerant flowers, I'm presuming from these mixes and I am so excited. Here is a very unique vegetable. This is the this is considered a melon. It is the Makiti Dark Green Serpent. But technically speaking, this is a cucumber, not a melon. And 
It's an heirloom vegetable that is used in cucumber type dishes or functions. Very mild, tasty, and usually picked on the smaller side. Next, I'm going to show you my massive selection of poppies that I ordered. We'll just do a quick little overview. We have poppy Hungarian blue bread seed, poppy black peony, we've got a purple peony, a scarlet peony. I know that Miss Grandma Sandy is going to be quite interested in my poppy collection. We have Poppy Pandora, Cream Poppy, Flemish Antique, Sissinghurt White. I'm so excited about white because I don't have many white poppies in my garden and I love the pure white color in a garden. It just adds such a such a beauty to the garden, just a simple white. Florist pepper box, a very unique looking poppy, very excited to try. Hens and chicks, hens and chicks poppy, looks quite unique. Crimson flowers, I think these would be awesome in some bouquets. And Last but not least, Poppy Black Swan. So my rock garden is going to get a lot of color this season. Next, for unique vegetables, we have this snake bean. This one is called Indian Giant. I am super excited to try these. I did try to grow a snake bean once before. I think it was called a rattlesnake bean from a completely different seed company. And the, the seeds didn't even germinate. So I'm really excited to try a new variety. And with Baker Creek, more than any other seed company I've found, the germination rate is incredible. I mean, I don't know percentage wise, but if I was to guess, I would say on average, Baker Creek germination is about 95 to 99% from what I've experienced, and that is incredible. So I have high hopes for these snake beans and many of my other seeds. It's actually considered to be an edible gourd, which sounds quite fascinating. The snake gourd is known as chinchinda in Hindi and is particularly popular in South India where it is made into curries and sabizi, beautiful vining plant, tolerates extreme heat and humidity. Definitely something I hope is successful in my garden. Next, I'm gonna show you some of the flowers I'm super excited about. We have a marigold with a name I cannot pronounce. Sweet Alyssum, the Rainbow Dwarf Mix. Sunflower, Red Sun. Calendula, Snow Princess. Pretty sure I have this already, but I would love more of these. They are gorgeous. Calendula, Pink Sunrise. Here we have a vegetable I am super excited to try. This is winter choy. Chinese, this is winter choy, Chinese yellow heart. It is a super cold hardy green from China and incredibly cold tolerant, excellent for fall and winter harvest. I wish I had this planted already, but we're gonna plant it in very early spring and hopefully get a good harvest from this. And here we have Supervisor who is trying really hard to take a toy, toy or a bone out of the snow that is frozen. He's putting in a lot of effort to try to get it out of the frozen snow. Not sure he's having a lot of luck, but he's trying super hard. 
Next, we have this vegetable called tatsui. If the camera's picking that up. It says it's called Brasilica rapa. I'm not entirely sure what that means other than that it's a Brasilica. It's a small green delivering a unique flavor experience that has a flavor that is mellow and almost creamy and packed with vitamins. Extremely cool tolerant. Another one that I wish was growing in my garden right now, but we're gonna plant this in very early spring and hopefully we have a great harvest. In case you're wondering what the background noise is that you may or may not have heard, this is what's happening behind the scenes, literally right behind the camera. We have a supervisor doing his supervising while he chews one of his delicate bones. And here we have three more very unique vegetables I'm gonna just show you very briefly. We have radish, Japanese wasabi, cabbage, which I cannot pronounce the name, and a Chinese cabbage called Golden Beauty. Whether you live in the US or Canada, I highly recommend Baker Creek Seeds. They are worth every penny you spend on them, including the, the shipping and the exchange fees if you're Canadian. They are high quality seeds with extremely good germination rates and such unique varieties. They are definitely superior to any seed company I have used or seen in Canada. Baker Creek Seeds, if you're watching this, I would be over the moon excited if you ever decided you wanted to sponsor my channel. I am the biggest fan of your seeds and will be using them for many, many years to come. Thank you so much for watching my 2023 Baker Creek Seeds haul. I had so much fun making this video and if you like videos about gardening, seeds, all the things, you might want to think about subscribing to this channel. We will see you very soon in another video. Have a good day.